Lots of changes kicking in with the new year, so we've got a quick wrap of some of these things to keep in mind. Starting the 1st of January, you may have to shell out more fees for ATM transactions. Once you exceed the first five free transactions, you'll now have to pay the revised fee of 21 per transaction versus 20 earlier. Also, from the coming year, your lockers with banks are set to get safer, as banks will also now have to bear some liability. Starting 2022, banks will be liable to pay up to 100 times the prevailing annual rent for the locker to customers if the locker is compromised because of the bank's own negligence. Thirdly, cash deposits in India Post Payment Bank beyond a certain limit will no longer be free from next year, while basic savings account customers don't really have to pay any much. Uh, other savings account customers will now have to pay 0.5% of the value, subject to a minimum of 25 rupees per transaction after exceeding deposits of 10,000 rupees per month. Fourthly, prices of ready-made garments and shoes could also go up from next year as the government is looking to charge 12% GST on it instead of 5% currently. But it is possible the government may do a rethink on this, so we have to watch how this one unfolds. And lastly, online food delivery and two- and three-wheeler transport services booked via online platforms will also come under the GST ambit starting the 1st of Jan, so it is quite likely food aggregators will pass on this cost to consumers. So now, every time you go order your favorite food on Zomato or Swiggy or take that auto ride book through Ola or Uber, be prepared to shell out a little more.